hey guys what's up welcome back to another video as you can tell i just woke up i am so tired <laughs> it's 7 24 a.m i woke up at 7 a.m and today is my first day back to work since my mini vacation with ryan we went to colorado we went skiing from friday to monday flew in at 10 p.m i slept in yesterday until 10 a.m i had so many things to do playing catch up I have you guys on a sketchy tripod. But I thought it'd be cool to show you guys my get ready with me slash spend the morning with me. I don't want to call this a full morning routine because I just want to do like a casual get ready with me, nothing serious. I'm going to pull my hair back, have some water. My face is also so dry from Colorado. It was so cold. My chair is still squeaking. I don't know what to do. My face definitely still got windburn, so it's very dry right now. Put some hyaluronic acid. I look so crazy right now. I'm so tired. I couldn't fall asleep last night and around 11.30, I was like, you know what? Let me take a little sleeping pill now. It's one o'clock and I'm still not sleeping. Even with the sleeping pill, I still couldn't fall asleep. I'm so tired right now. I definitely feel drowsy from the sleeping pill and just going to sleep late. I guess I'm still on Colorado time because it is two hours behind over there. Got some vitamin C serum from Coco Kind. Just started using this product so i don't know if i really love it yet i should have put this in the freezer so that way it's nice and fresh for today because i've been waking up so swollen especially in colorado because of the altitude i just get so swollen out there and coming back i still feel like a little chipmunk in the morning i'm gonna put the honest beauty moisturizer i have the ordinary lash serum for my lashes the Coco Kind SPF. I like to wear this mostly for work. And then I like to keep the e.l.f. tinted one for when I'm not working or for days I'm not wearing makeup. I'm gonna pluck some of my unibrow hair because it's looking crazy right now. I'm gonna do this off camera and be right back. I did use up the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I love this stuff a lot. So I did end up picking the niacinamide version. And so far, so good. I feel like it's the same thing. I just think this has a little bit more hydration, which I like. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Elf Putty Primer on my T-zone area. And then for foundation, I'm mixing at number three and number four from the Halo Liquid Filter. I love this stuff. I wanted to bring it to Colorado, but the packaging is so heavy that I didn't want to pack it. So Colorado was so much fun with Ryan. This was our first time ever. We've been skiing so many times. This is our sixth time skiing together. Yeah, probably our sixth time skiing together and we always go with friends friends or like couples and this was the first time we went just meet him and it was so much fun it was definitely one of the best ski trips hands down we had so much fun together and we didn't have to wait on anybody it was just meet him we got to spend more quality time together do whatever we wanted eat whatever we wanted so it was a really good time and i miss it already <laughs> obviously i miss my babies and luckily my mother-in-law she's so amazing she came and stayed at our house to dog sit while we were gone so it was definitely peace of mind i didn't have to worry too much she is an amazing dog care she does have a french bulldog as well so that was really nice not having to worry about my babies usually stay longer in Colorado, but it was just a quick little Friday and Monday ski trip with Ryan. So we did get in two and a half days of skiing, which was really nice. I wish I could have stayed a little longer, maybe like one more day longer. Because it was a little tease, but for me and him, it was perfect. And yesterday I was playing catch up. I went to the color store, got all the things I needed for the week. This month of April, I am so busy at work which is good, I love being busy. The last two weeks of March, I had a bit of cancellations and it was hard for me to fill it up, but hopefully I don't have any more cancellations because it sucks. It happens though, as a hairstylist, but sometimes I can fill it up and sometimes I can't. So I'm excited to be very, very busy this month. I love these little liquid halo filter foundations. I love the glow it gives me. I also need to pick up some more concealer because I ran out of the Kosas and I really like that concealer. Just not sure if I'm going to repurchase the same one or if I want to try something different. But I think I might just get the same Kosas. Maybe a different shade 
instead of neutral. I don't know. We'll see. I really like that concealer. This is the LYS concealer. It's okay. It does the job. We are also currently out of Wi-Fi. We've been having Wi-Fi issues since moving into this house because it is a brand new neighborhood. And I didn't upload my YouTube video because I've been doing Tuesdays and Fridays as my new uploads for YouTube. I don't know if you guys noticed. The plan was to wake up Tuesday morning, upload my YouTube video, and then just get it out of the way because I already had it edited. I just needed it to be uploaded on YouTube and we had no internet. So I had to go all the way to Starbucks and sit there for two hours to upload on their slow internet which doesn't make a difference for me because our internet is really slow too so it takes about an hour an hour and a half to upload a video which is insane and they still haven't fixed it here they're supposed to come today at 9 a.m so we'll see what i've been doing lately with my concealer is setting it at the very end with them when i'm done with all of my face stuff and i kind of like it i feel like it doesn't crease as much i don't care about the creasing honestly like how some people under eye is gonna naturally crease anyway, so. But I've been doing that. I'm gonna be using the Milani Liquid Contour in the shade Honey. The shade is perfect for days. Oh, there's something in my eye. The shade is nice for days that my tanner is fading. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit. I think I put way too much product on my face. I think I'm just so excited to go back to work today because I could not sleep last night. I felt like I was starting a new school or just like excited to go back to work or something, which is a good thing. I feel like a lot of people hate going back to work after vacation, which I totally understand, but I'm actually really excited to go back to work today, get back into a routine. I put way too much concealer on. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm excited to go back to work today and see my clients do some beautiful hair I need to get a new tripod that i'm gonna test out hopefully it's very discreet because i am very shy filming in public i feel like all i did was smear it all over my face <laughs> i am craving a tropical vacation and i always crave this after a ski trip because obviously we just came from the cold and it was snowing out there it was so cold Thought I was gonna get frostbite to be honest. Now that I'm back, I really want to go on a tropical vacation. Either a quick cruise, a staycation on the beach somewhere in Florida, but I want to go somewhere for sure. Just me and Ryan and the dogs. All right, so I have a new little blush combo. It's the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Happy. Just gonna do one little dot. This stuff is intense. And I've been topping it with the Milani Luminoso Blush. And it's like such a pretty blush combo. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna do a little blush moment here. I love that my face is glowing right now. It's so pretty. I finally set the under eye, but before I'm just gonna tap underneath. Make sure everything is smooth. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my hands are completely pale. The self tanner definitely wore out, but in Colorado, because we do go in the hot tub to soak our bodies after a long ski day. It just helps with your muscles and helps prevent you to get not that sore the next day, if that makes sense. And it's also something to look forward to after a long, intense ski day is to go in the hot tub. But anyways, usually when I go in the hot tub, well not usually, always when I go in the hot tub, I my tanner fades. And that's just the reality of it because you are soaking your body in warm water for a while and that kind of dilutes the tanner solution. Oh, I forgot to put this liquid highlighter. I'm obsessed with this liquid highlighter. It's from Milani. It's in the shade number one, Lunar. I'm just going to put a little bit. I already put powder on, but whatever. <laughs> I've been doing this instead of pow like actual powder highlighter and I've been really liking it. And I'll just blend it out with a little brush like a brush like this. I think this is from e.l.f. Yeah, this is from e.l.f. So anyways, your body is soaking in that warm water and yeah, the tanner will fade eventually, like after a day or two of doing it continuously. So anyways, I was mixing the face tan and body drops from Tanologist, which I only use on my face, but I tried it on my body and it actually works. I did it on my chest, my arms and my chest and my neck. And I would mix it with my regular lotion 
and it definitely made my tanner stay like it didn't fade at all obviously everywhere else my legs are so pale right now but that's normal i'm gonna set everything with the milani setting spray this stuff is amazing i've just been really loving this face base i had a moment because my camera fell and i got ptsd from my last camera breaking so let's not break this new camera for brows i'm using the got to be hair styling cream ah it's a gel i'm sure you guys have seen it all over tiktok i'm actually gonna fill the end of my brow real quick and then i'm gonna put the gel on top so like I was saying, I really like how it made this nice and even and didn't fade as much compared to the rest of my body. I've also been back on TikTok. I don't know if you guys follow me on TikTok or notice, but I have been posting more and I want to stay in the habit of keep posting content. I want to make TikTok a fun platform for me because for the longest time, I was taking it way too serious and just not posting because it wasn't good enough or it didn't fit the algorithm. But now I don't care. I'm just gonna post whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want it. And I'm just gonna be my real self. So it definitely follow me on TikTok. I just post a little Colorado recap in case you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, which you should be following my Instagram to see my day to day life, things I'm doing behind the scenes. And then I'm gonna pop my lashes on. The lashes I've been using are from Sheen. I showed this in my haul a couple videos ago and I really like these lashes, especially for work. They make my eyes look more cat eye, which I like, and they're just more natural for me. I did use these for skiing as well and they held up perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my eyes off camera, apply these lashes, and then I'll be right back. Makeup is on, it looks so good. I just have to do my lips, obviously, but I'm gonna get dressed now. I'm going to pick out an outfit for work. Something comfortable because I'm bloated. I had a lot of gluten this past weekend in Colorado. And yeah, I woke up with a stomach ache and I just feel like very and uh, inflamed, swollen. So definitely something comfortable. Well, I always dress comfortable, but maybe like a baggy shirt, high-waisted jeans. I think Ryan is still sleeping right now, so I'll probably just come back in here and show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm gonna make my coffee, get ready for work. You know, it's my first day back, so I have a lot of things to bring with me back to the salon. I get my lunch ready. I am still tired. I want my coffee, but I love doing my makeup because I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but when I do my makeup in the morning, it's like my coffee. It wakes me up and I don't feel as tired, but if I decided to not wear makeup, I probably would have felt super tired, dragging. So doing my makeup definitely wakes me up. It's my coffee in the morning. I've always told people that. And I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I do. It's actually pretty gloomy outside. I think it's gonna stay cloudy all day today, but I wanted to wear this long sleeve lime neon green bodysuit that I showed in my Boohoo slash Pretty Little Thing haul. I don't know if I should turn this light off if it would be better. I actually brought this bodysuit to Colorado thinking that I was gonna wear it and I didn't. So I'm gonna wear it today with these jeans from Sheen and then my Air Forces. Obviously the lime green matches and my shirt. This is what I'm wearing. I got my earrings on. I'm just gonna leave my hair the way it is because I did blow dry it last night. I do put my shoes on at the very end because I wear my Crocs to go walk the dogs. But I got my blow dryer fixed. Finally, it took a while. They actually sent me a whole brand new blow dryer. And I can tell that this one is gonna be better because the nozzle it looks different than the last one. And I feel like this is gonna be a better working blow dryer. So I'm excited to use this on my clients again. I'm still gonna use a shark, but I'm gonna use this on clients that have coarse, curly, frizzy hair. And I'm gonna use this on myself too, because I really like it. I'm bring this back to work. I have my flat iron and my curling iron that I brought to Colorado with me in case I needed to use it and I did not use it at all. And I also have my shark blow dryer here as well. Typically when my work week is done, I will end up bringing at least my blow dryer with me. But now that I have two, I can leave one at work. I'm gonna put all my tools in this cute little salon-centric bag. And then I have my behind the chair bag here with me, but I have a bunch of stuff I need to bring. I have a random Marshalls bag. I also have my new tripod. I cannot do this thing by myself, so I don't know. You have to like push it, but there we go. Yay. Yeah, I got my new little tripod. I like how like discreet and skinny it is. And it goes up pretty freaking high. I like it. It's great for travel too. And then it comes with a, 
Did I lose it? It came with a remote control. I think I lost it. Great. I have a little charger in here that I need to keep in my car. And then this is like my little emergency kit that I keep in my locker in case I need something. Perfume, wipes, charger, Pepnobismo, Lysol, Advil, tie to go. You already know. And then this bag is filled with lip products. This I don't normally keep in here. I'm just going to use what I'm going to use today and then keep the rest here. But I had this from when I was traveling. I have my little portable charger. And then here is my little tech bag. I wonder if... I think I, I think I left it in Colorado. No, my little remote control. Oh, that sucks. Anyways, I have my little tech bag here. And I also have a little mic. I don't know if you guys noticed, but mic'd up videos are trending right now so you see a lot of fitness people showing their workouts mic'd up so i think i want to do tiktoks and reels of me doing mic'd up style with me videos with my clients and just doing very informative some informative some funny and just little chatty chit chats with my clients mic'd up i thought it'd be cool so we're gonna test it out today and then i just have matcha tea i have some sunglasses that i need to put back in my car from colorado and then gas x <laughs> and that's pretty much it that's everything i have in my work bag and then i just have my little tory birch bag that i like to bring with me every day to work i keep my essentials my wallet my lipsticks and just you know things that i need and i will keep the bigger stuff like this in my locker throughout the week so yeah it's like a little random what's in my work bag wow i'm really sad i freaking lost this i wonder if i can buy a replacement on amazon <laughs> okay so it's 8 31 now i'm going to go downstairs walk the dogs feed them and then i'm going to make my coffee get my lunch ready and then probably head out the door and i'll show you guys one last little ootd Making my shaken espresso. I've already shown how to do this on my TikTok. I'm just gonna put a little bit of brown sugar in here. And then I just use the straw that I'm gonna drink it with and I mix it. I have my little shaker that I got from Amazon and I'm gonna pour some cinnamon on top. Stir, stir, stir. Pour it back in the cup. And then just pour the oat milk on top looks so good stir it i do like mine a bit more creamier so i think i might add a little bit more oat milk so good it's 8 52 now and i need to leave in the next eight minutes but i'm gonna chug my little shade espresso so good i'm just gonna look over my agenda my to-do list to see if I need to add anything on here. I need to start editing this morning's Get Ready With Me tonight so that way I can upload it for Friday. So I'm gonna put that. I also need to go to the color store right after this. So that's why I need to leave a little bit earlier than usual. My favorite round brushes that I like to use with my clients, they're on sale right now at Salon Century. It ends the last day of March. So I need to grab it now and I need to see if they have it available. They have a really good sale on them, so I think I'm gonna end up coming back home pretty late because I do have like a late color appointment. So I wanna clean up a little bit when I get home. I'm just gonna leave that there for now. And then what I've been doing lately, I don't bring my agenda with me everywhere, so sometimes if I'm out in public or if I'm at work and I need to see what I need to do today, it's hard for me because I don't have it on hand. So I've been doing a mixture of on notes. So I'll write down a couple things to do that I think throughout the day, and then I'll also take pictures of my to-do list and just random notes of like color order and i just keep everything in one note file so it's just easier to access so i'm going to delete the picture of my agenda from last week and then take a new one so as you guys can see there's a couple to do's on my notes and then i have a picture of my agenda and then just some notes of like color order and stuff so that's what i've been doing i feel like it's been really helping me a lot so i'm going to go ahead and start getting ready to leave i'm going to put my sneakers on go downstairs maybe take a cute little selfie pic for the IG, oh my god. For the IG, put some lipstick on and be out of here. Now I'm running late because I spent five minutes trying to film myself doing my lipstick on Instagram. So I have to go, but these are the sneakers I'm wearing. Gonna head downstairs, go to my car, go to the color store. Let's go.
I got a phone camera out and now it's blocking my view. Mm. I have arrived to work. I got my brush. It's not the size that I wanted because they were sold out. So I got a bigger size, which I don't mind. I actually wanted to get a bigger size. I also have my color order that I got from yesterday. So I have tons of toners, permanent color for root, root retouches, and then I have bleach. Oh, also I got my business cards. <laughs> I ordered them and they're so cute. Ash Luna, so cute. And then it has a QR code in the back. So people can scan it and then it goes directly to all my socials, my Instagram, my YouTube, my TikTok. I think I also linked my Amazon storefront on here, so super cute. I also got my lunch and yeah, that is it. I'm ready to go inside, start my work week. So that ends my get ready with me slash spend the morning with me before work. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.